This admiral commands a naval force that's under strain. 24 of his men who set out from Odessa port more than a fortnight ago are being detained by Russia. Admiral Iho Voronchenko says Russia has no right to put them on trial. They have to admit that they took prisoners of war, not some criminals involved in contraband or illegal fishing. Voronchenko dismisses Moscow's charge of Ukrainian provocation. No one recognizes the annexation of Crimea, and even if we did cross the 12-mile zone, we notified the FSB border service. We were passing according to our agreements through the Strait of Kerch. We are sure the tactical decisions were not being taken by the commanders of the Russian ships. Voronchenko goes on to say it was clear when Russia seized the Ukrainian boats, the orders were political, a claim denied by Russia. He says the blocking of the strait wasn't due to the accidental grounding of a tanker, but was a deliberate act by Russia using tugs. These are identical sister boats of two of the vessels that came under attack. A captain shows the area of armor penetrated on one of the boats being held by Russia. Ukraine's Navy says the crew was being targeted rather than the boat's engines, which would have disabled the vessel. The Admiral isn't optimistic of a quick end to the crisis and wants NATO to commit more support to the region. We need to keep a parity of power. It's not about an open confrontation. We need containment in the Black Sea. There is a need to cool down the fervor, the heat of Russia's aggression, to stop it. It's hardly surprising that Ukraine is still calling for NATO support when you consider how much the size of its navy was diminished when Russia annexed Crimea in 2014. Ukraine lost a lot of vessels, and out of the few battleships that remain, this is the only frigate. Outgunned and outmaneuvered by Russia, this navy has to be defensive. Its hopes for a quick release of its captured crews have to lie with the offensive mounted by diplomats and political leaders. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Odessa, Ukraine.